I wanted to come and do a video on why I launched a vegan food truck. Um, there's so many reasons why, but I'll start with the first and the main reason. And that was I wanted to be able to serve my community love. I wanted my community to be able to eat healthy food that's really healthy, that tastes good. Like you didn't have to compromise the taste for the health. And I also wanted to create an experience for my customers to be able to receive love. Like it's not even a, we, we have great customer service, but I also wanted people to experience genuine, wholesome people. And sometimes in this world with so much going on, you know, and it's like 5,000 degrees outside, everybody mad. I mean, you know, everybody mad because it's hot. It's just hot as hell, okay? Especially Arizona. But um, there's so many just different things sometimes it seems like that's going on. I want it, you know, when you come to Goddess's Garden to be able to have an experience for you to be able to experience love, excellent customer service, excellent food. I wanted it to be convenient. And I didn't want to make vegan junk food, although I do have some items on my menu that kind of cater more, to, more so to vegans, more so than uh, plant-based, but I do have soul food plates and on all soul food plates those plates are packed with so many nutrients and vitamins and minerals right like that you're literally eating from all different food groups and you're full afterwards you know <laughs> you don't have to be hungry in two hours or so you know you actually feel full and you know that everything is made with love and everything is crafted with your health in mind. I don't use any white sugar at all whatsoever, even though white sugar is vegan, but I don't, we don't use that. I don't use any white flowers. Um, anytime we use oil, we use grape seed oil. I'm just as conscious about uh, the ingredients that I put on my truck as I am in terms of what I have in my home, right? Like I'm very, very, very cognizant of what it is that we're serving out. And sometimes uh, I even go the extra mile. Like I don't do canned jackfruit. Like we go get fresh jackfruit and we cut that bad boy up. You know, um, and it's very time consuming, but I'm not willing to compromise that just to be able to get something out quicker. You know, I'm not willing to com compromise the health of um, what it is that we're serving out just for it to be convenient. We definitely put in, again, so much love. I don't mean to be redundant, but it's just the truth. The food is made with love. And if I'm not even, if I'm not in a good mood, I'm not cooking nothing, right? Like, I, that food is made with, I'm being there jamming, dancing and cooking <laughs> and um i love that i love it it's it's cooking is meditative for me it's like a meditation you know for me and again the food is made with love it's served out with love and we definitely want to make sure that you experience pure love when you come to our stuff so, if you are located in Phoenix, Arizona, and, um, you know, even if you're not vegan, definitely come by. Definitely tell me to come to the window because I would love to tell you hi. I would love to greet you, um, get to know you, you know, and uh, just make it a pleasurable and very memorable experience. So, we hope to see you all there. Um, I don't know how long we'll be in Phoenix because I'm definitely contemplating moving to Atlanta. I kind of want to go to Georgia. I've been wanting to go for a long time. So, might be moving there in December. Um, definitely kind of leaning towards there. I've also thought about relocating to the east side of Phoenix. Currently, we live far west. We're all, we are uh, 
Mitchell Park, which is the west side, but I've definitely thought about moving to like Chandler. But I don't know if that would even be, I don't know, I don't know. Definitely want like a soulful vibe. And I just know that I'd want to get that in Atlanta. But nevertheless, I'm rambling. I'm gonna shut up now. Hope to see you all. Hope everybody has an amazing day. Ready to snow with so much love, peace, and positivity. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>